Hi triathletes, Coach Mark here for Mr Triathlon. This is my guide to returning to the open water, uh, returning to swimming, but particularly in the open water. It's going to be cold, it's going to be less than 10 degrees, so it's going to be cold. So get yourself one of these, so a little headgear, so you can put on, keep that head warm. Obviously you're going to have a... <laughs> Obviously you can have a wetsuit on as well, um, but make sure you get one of these. I know you look stupid, but at least people are going to see you. Uh, without this, you're not really probably going to be able to put your head under the water very long at all. You know, make sure you do a good warm up before you actually get into the water. And I'll do that at the end so you can do a little follow along. Take your open water swimming slowly. So don't get, don't expect to get back in the water and just go crazy and, and do 1500 meters to start off with. So you're not going to spend a long time in there. So what I advise is just to get in the water, do a bit of swimming, and then when you get out, do a run. So that's going to do two things. One, it's going to warm you up if you've been cold while you're in the water. And two, um, it's going to make you feel like you've actually done a session. If you're just taking the time that day to go to the put, to go to the lake, do 10 minutes worth of swimming, that's all you can do because it's cold, and then you get changed to go home, you're not going to feel like you've done a workout. So, excuse me, go for a run. Um, around the lake and then just make sure you're, you're, you've done some kind of aerobic exercise and then you'll have got back into the water, you won't be tempted to do too much and you'll have also done a workout and you'll have warmed up. When you get into the water, don't forget to breathe. As my t-shirt says here, don't forget to breathe. Under the water, a big strong exhale. It's gonna feel difficult, but a nice strong exhale. It'll help you to get relaxed, but also practice, you know, uh, be more relaxed in your swim stroke in that cold water so a good strong exhale maybe several of these until you can actually do it the first time you put your head under you may not actually be able to exhale because you might be so tense from the cold water but the more you practice it the better it's going to get In, what, what I've seen with a lot of people when they get in the open water, even in the summer when it gets um, and it gets warmer, is because you're swimming a long distance, uh, when you're in the pool, 25 metres maybe, you're always kind of going forwards and backwards. But when you're in the open water and you see the next boy a long way off, then people tend to really relax into the stroke and just um, start to overreach a little bit because they relax too much into the stroke because they think, oh, it's going to take me ages to get to the boy, and they just relax into the stroke. If you do that, you're going to end up overreaching a little bit, and you can end up, end up having poor techniques. So when you get back in into your, getting back into your swimming, be open water or the pool, just take it easy, don't go too fast, but be wary of just relaxing too much and having some kind of catch up in your stroke, which is bad for technique. Um... The, the thing to be aware of is to try and increase that cadence, just increase that cadence so that your arms are turning over that little bit quicker. I, I like to think of it like if you're riding a bike, so you don't want a big gear that you're pushing constantly. If you knock it back a few gears and um, you're spinning your pedals at a quicker rate, you're getting a quicker rate but it feels a little bit easier. So try and keep that cadence up. It'll stop you from just gliding a little bit too much in the water. Again, first couple of sessions back in the open water. Don't worry about any about that. Just feel the water, enjoy being back in. But when you get back into the pool and the open water, just be careful that you don't let that technique just really slow down. Okay, here's a little warm up that you can do um, at the side of the pool or when you're getting into the open water just to get your muscles nice and warmed up and also kind of raise your body temperature just very slightly. If you're outside, you can always do some running on the spot and things like that just to get your body even more warmed up. So if you start by just first of all, just circling one arm backwards, just nice and gentle. You have to be careful not to hit anything in here. So just nice and steady. And the more it relaxes, just um, increase the speed. Okay, forwards. So these are good exercises to do anyway before any exercise session, especially if you've been at your desk all day and you're really crunched over at your PC. Okay, the other arm backwards, just make sure I don't hit the wall. Just circle your arm backwards and then circle that arm forwards. Okay. 
and then both arms together forwards just really loosening off those shoulders backwards okay make when you do these exercises just make sure you set your shoulders back and squeeze those shoulder blades together so you don't want to do these exercises like this not crunched over get a really good posture to start with and then just do those circles okay then what you want to do is bend over from the waist okay and then swing your arms backwards and forwards and what you can do here is just relax your breathing into it just get everything nice and loose okay and then stay bent over at the waist and then try and twist your arms side to side okay when you do this start nice and slowly especially if you have got um sore back and then just start to increase that twist as things start to loosen up okay really simple it takes a couple of minutes just gets everything nice and loose a good posture set before you get in the water good luck with that let me know how you get on